So what I did to help you compare these two video editors was create a series of videos. One was a visual comparison. So if I'm trying to do motion tracking in Femora 12, you can see what it would look like in DaVinci Resolve 18. This gives you a visual idea of the steps that that would entail. But to take it a step further, what I did was create it over here, a wedding video. And one of my viewers asked me to create a wedding video in Femora 12. I thought he meant DaVinci Resolve, so I did it in DaVinci Resolve 18 first, and then I redid it in Femora 12. So you can compare these two videos because I use the exact same video assets. If you're trying to spice up your DaVinci Resolve, check out Visual FX. Also, I created a horror video two years ago, and I create the same horror video here in DaVinci Resolve 18. So now you can compare, again, doing the horror video in Filmora 11 or 12 to DaVinci Resolve 18. And that will give you a side-by-side -side analysis because, again, I use the exact same video assets. So with that said, check out my lessons below. Do them all and see which one you like the best. But in the meantime, I'm going to leave you with a visual video comparison between Firmora 12 and DaVinci Resolve 18. And you can see for yourself on what it entails to get certain tasks done. Screens between the two. In terms of a screenshot, I can just pick on this picture for more 12 and that's it. Save it to a JPEG or a pink. DR18, I have to go into color. Go to my gallery and then export that still. Cropping, panning, and zoom. This is pretty much the same. It starts on the green, ends on the red. Titles and text. Firmora offers an abundance of different titles and text. While DR18 has pretty cool text and the fusion is really awesome. Call out opening screens and they have subcategories on the right side over here in the inspector I can do a lot more if I go over here to Femora 12 I can do a lot with my text too I can do almost anything here too In terms of basic transition, Promo World just has such a variety of transitions that you can use. And I can change things over here in DR18. Once you see that both sides are green, basic keyframing. I actually found these two to be pretty much the same. And then for more world now you can keyframe almost anything.
Now, for those of you who are more advanced DR18 users, you know that you can do a lot more on the right side in the inspector. But for the average user, I really don't see them do all the advanced stuff that sometimes DR offers. But it's available. The R18 has regular tracking, they have planar tracking. And for more 12, I just click on motion tracking. I outline the object and just track it. In DR18, there's a few more tests, a lot more options. Just go over here and now I'll track it right here. And you can track it forward or backwards. Both ways are effective. If I go into multi screens, as you can see in Femora 12, I just have, I don't know, dozens and dozens and dozens of different kind of split screens and multi screens I can use. Now in DR18, I can use something called video collage, and if you master this, your videos will look great. But it takes time. Otherwise, in DR18, you have to do this manual. DR18, we're going to create a 2x2. Two two. Pretty simple stuff to do, it just takes time to do it. Over here at Femora 12, I can grab a 3x3 three three and just bring videos in. Look at the, all the other templates they give you. And there are steps involved, and that's why I say the DR18 has a steeper learning curve than Femora 12. These are done totally differently. And now let's move on to color matching.
these two paragliders. I want to match it on the darkest green. With DR18, copy and paste the color from one node or one dip to the other. There are more sophisticated ways, believe me. Let's compare effects. Chromatic aberration, lens flares, that's all free in Femora 12. And then if you look at the Boris effects and you look at the new blue effects that you can add to this, those are optional. But if you add those, anything you want to do. Basic masking. Last but not least, I want to talk about the interface. And I just like what Primora 12 has done. I can change how it looks. I can go over here and I can just look at the top menu. Um, in DR18, I like the fact that I can go on top and I can look at all my effects and all my titles right here in one section. So I like that. But I also like what Primora 12 did with putting all the asset manipulation right next to the video or the picture you have up. I also like the sub menu system. Using the programs, they're night and day. I think they're different. They have a different target market. DR18 too because it's free. Primora 12 just offers so much more to the average video editor. And that's in my personal opinion. And it's easier to use everything just drag and drop. Whereas you have to know what you're doing with DR18. Quick, try both of them and see which one you like. Check out my videos below, how to use these software and these applications in more detail. Subscribe to my channel, give me a like, and let me know what you think, please. And in the meantime, happy creating.